Hello, Crystal family. My name is Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal, here to do your 2021 prediction reading. This is going to be for my Libras or cross watchers and or I guess I should say. Keep in mind that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, I am not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I am here for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, contact me at crystalthingsheal.com. Everything's going to be in the description box down below. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Crystal Things Heal. If this resonates with you, make sure to like and subscribe. Alrighty, if you hear me singing horribly, pay attention to the song or lyrics, whatever it is. It's probably a message for you. Alright, let's get started. Let's see what the vibe is for 2021. What's the vibe for 2021 for Libras, please? Okay. Money, money, money. Find a way to abundance. Okay, well, that's a hell of a start. Welcome 2021. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Should listen to the lyrics in that song. Birds might be relevant to you. Actually, dolphins. It actually says dolphin on there. Um, your best friends might play a big role. Your family might pay. Um, I said pay. Interesting. So maybe you re uh, might receive money from family or friends. You also got the confrontation card. So just keep in mind of um. No one to pick your battles, basically. I think that's is that is what it says over here. I cannot speak. I'm like, <laughs> all righty. What's the vibe for 2021? The world in 2021, you're gonna be finding self love, finding balance and harmony in situations. Um, you're going to be strong. Um, that's not the word that I wanted to come out. I was going to say strengthening your third eye. That's not strengthening. Um, some of you are going to be seeing visions more. Some of you need to focus more on your solar plexus area and your third eye. Um, some of you are visionaries and it's going to help you out in 2021. Some of you are experiencing indigestion issues. Right now, maybe some issues with your bowels or um, you will be in 2021. So just keep in mind and try to keep those things in line there. Some of you might be experiencing some headaches and migraines as well. So keep in mind... Remember I said you guys are visionaries. It says visualize abundance in all forms. So money is definitely going to be playing a role here. Maybe it's just something, a detail that you're going to see or think of that other people would easily miss. Think of it like the $100 bill on the floor that no one ever, everyone walks past and, you know, it's just sitting there blatantly for you. No more complaining also. Don't focus on what you've lost. Focus on what you can have. Alrighty. This is for our Libras. Libra in the house. All right, January, please. Hitting the dolphins. Whoever is having issues with their family, just know that the worst is over when it comes to that, okay? Well, the worst will be over in 2021, February. Okay. March. Some of you in February... You might... And this is not going to be for everyone. Some of you are um, might be, like, burying a family member. And if so, I, I'm sorry for your loss. Truly. Maybe you were taking care of them for a really long time and it was causing um, like extra burdens for you. 
And even though you didn't want them to pass, like, because of that, you no longer have to put in so much hard work in life. And you get to find yourself and be yourself again. That's in March. Some of you might leave your job or lose your job. This is, where is this going? We're going to clarify all this, okay? April. Lord. Libra. We're going to clarify all these before I talk on this. Because this is... I don't really like what's happening here in 2021. At least not the first half. May. Some of you... And I hate to say this. Um... Some of you are females and the person that you're putting to rest, you're actually it's actually um like a fetus. Whereas like you may have had like a very hard pregnancy and now you won't anymore well, and like the baby doesn't make I'm so sorry. The baby doesn't make it and then as a result, um Things are starting to look more positive, whereas, of course, like, you would want them and you would bear all the work and trouble for that child. All right. Things got heavy. January, February, March, April, May, June... Some of you might have a lot of people um, reaching out to you in June. I actually heard love interests. So some of you might have multiple love interests reaching out to you in June. July. August. September. I almost didn't want to put that down. I don't know why. We're going to stop there for a second. I want to clarify. Can I have clarification for this one, please? For January? Some of you just were in... Had a really bad relationship in 2020 and... Um, there are guys wanting to know that the worst is over when it comes to that. That, like, it's the end of that relationship. So that's, like, another twist to it. In February, can you get clarification, please? Some of you, in February, the person you're putting to rest is actually yourselves. Um, and not in that sense. The sense, um, spiritually. You're putting one part of yourself to rest for another one to grow. March. Yep. So you're finding yourself in March. Some of you might be leaving a, a practical job and going to spiritual work. April. Oh, man. Same thing. Yeah. So in April, I still see a loss of a baby that you tried to hold on to as long as you possibly could. I'm really sorry for those of you that are experiencing that. May. Yeah, and as a result, but I see you being able to go out again, to love yourself a little more, and that your guys already know that everything's happening for a reason, exactly as it should be happening. 
And this is to the females, to um, whoever it is applies to. June. June, I see uh, quite a few things. <laughs> um, so in June, there's three different scenarios here. Some people are going to be fighting with others. And those people coming at them that I talked about, um, it's actually a confrontation that's coming towards you. So that's a fair warning. Some of you are changing spiritually, doing a complete death and rebirth type of thing. What we talked about in February, where you're putting your, one part of yourself to rest and another one's happening. Well, now you have a whole death and rebirth happening here. Others of you are coming into a good chunk of money. This is what, June? January, February, March, April, May, June. Like a good chunk of money. Some of you, family is going to be playing a big role in June. Stability, your home life. All right. July. In July, some of you are going to... I'm going to have to say a message I don't want to say, but I'm going to have to say it. Some of you might leave your dogs outside longer than they should. Um, so please be, you know, treat your dogs well, okay? Your animals, your pets. It doesn't even have to be just dogs. But treat your pets well. Just do it. <laughs> Don't let them feel left out. Um, what else was I going to say about this? Sorry, I completely took my whole thought process. Um, so in July, some of you are going to be celebrating getting a new home. Like purchasing a new home or moving and celebrating about it. Getting new land, something of that sort. Some of you might be getting a dog. The dog is like really significant in this month. From like a shelter. Who has been like a, a I want to say it's a dog. Um, who's been abandoned in their lifetime at some point. And you might be taking them in into your home. Or maybe like you'll find them on the street. Something like that. Okay, what about August? August. Some of you are leaving work in August again. Okay, but what is this leaving work going towards? Some of you might be like leaving your job and you're just really pissed off and you're like, F you, F you, you're cool, F you, and just be out. <laughs> yeah, because you made the decision that that particular job doesn't make you happy. And you're like, you know what? You might even have like another job on the side and you're like, I make way more money at this other place anyways. And look, there's your dog. Look. That's so cute. I'm so glad. Whoever that is. <laughs> okay, what about this one over here? Sorry, my hand's like right in front of the camera. And 
time, but make sure you listen to your intuition. I feel like some people are not following their intuition and they might be a little emotional and act out a little bit. They might like lash out. I just heard it is my way the highway. All right, let's see what's going on for the rest of the month. That's your fair warning, Sarah, right? I'm really glad to hear about the dog that you took in. And, oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. There are lots of work, but they're worth it. If you're a cat person, it can be a cat, too. If you're a turtle person, go for that. I don't know. Get someone at home. I actually want to change decks. All right. October, November, December. Let's do this now. October. Again, leaving work, lots of work, something of that sort. November, because it didn't make you happy. So what's this money that I keep hearing? Well, we did see the money and the abundance come in at one point. November. I just saw another card about work. November. So in November, you're ready to move forward in life. You got the tools you needed, the people that you need in your life. You're like, screw this. You're not going to, um, you're going to take your time doing it. You're not, it's not going to be like a quick rash decision. What's this decision that has to be made in December? Or what action are they taking? Whatever. Where are they going in December? Finding balance. Some of you are finding a counterpart. But I want to say you guys aren't like at the same vibration at the time. But you know that they're your counterpart either way. Some of you are simply going to a place of work that provides you with an equal give and take. Who acknowledges you for... You know, who you are, what you do, all that good stuff. I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, I just want to get, like, one overall card. Maybe we'll pull a more, um, Jesus Christ, I can't know, a major card for that. Can I get, like, a major overall feeling for how 2021 is going to go for Libra Space? Thank you. Judgment. Overall, things are going to work out in your favor. It might be like a little bit of a stressful year, but it's going to end up working out. You just have to listen to your intuition. Listen to your heart. Something coming. That's what I just heard. <laughs> Alrighty. That is going to be your 2021 reading yearly prediction for our Libras. Until next time. Bye.